And the next question is on police, fire, and employees' pensions. Should there be a top limit of 100000 or 110000 So I don't have a specific stance on a salary cap, but I think it would be wise. I also think that we need to start, uh, you know, asking the, the staff and city employees, we're not trying to take anything away from them. We're asking them to invest in their own future. So I just think it needs to be presented properly. So again, we're not trying to take away from city employees. Uh, we love and respect the hard work that they do, but it's hard times as a, as a homeowner here in town, as a family man and business owner, I've had to tighten my belt, although my belt doesn't tighten much beyond this. Um, <laughs> But, you know, and everyone else should be expected to, to, you know, to trim off some of the fat. And so, absolutely, we should consider possibly salary caps. What really upsets me is to hear the, the, our outgoing police chief, uh, Ian Willis, is collecting somewhere between one hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000 in retirement. We're paying that, all of us. And now he's working for the sheriff's department, collecting another 150000 a year. So there definitely needs to be some kind of change in that area maybe not allow them to get our pension money, our money, until they stop working for real. So no, I, I wouldn't support a cap because what would be the motivation for someone to test to sergeant? What would be the motivation for a, a, a very good employee to stay with our city? Um, and would there be a cost of living increase? $100,000 today is not going to be, have the same purchasing power of $100,000 10 years from now. But I tell you what we should do. We should eliminate pension spiking. Uh, we should cap the amount that they're able to earn as consultants when they come back after their retirement. And we should be asking our employees to start contributing to their pensions, just like you and I contribute to our retirement and many other public employees contribute to their pensions. Um, you know, CalPERS public safety employees, CalPERS sets a baseline of a 9% contribution for public safety and 8% for other city employees. Um, San Leandro is paying that entire portion if they just paid CalPERS recommended rate, that would still be even less than half of what the city pays towards pensions. So we really need to ask them to start contributing. No, I don't believe in um, limiting the salary. What we've done on the city council is this past two years, we have brought on a brand new police chief and a brand new city manager. And what we had to do was we had to be competitive because we would not get the quality that we have today if we weren't competitive. We made sure that we looked at all of the cities in the East Bay, how much the police officers make, how much the city managers make, and we made sure that we could offer enough to get quality employees. Pension reform is coming. There's nothing we can do to stop it. It's going to happen, and with pension reform, I'm sure and I'm insured that the city and the union are going to come to an agreement. The union is not against pension reform. They understand that it has to happen.